<laughs> All right. Well, this ought to be interesting, man. We're seeing the return. The repeat. The return <laughs> well, both Sison players. Sison Gaming is still in lead. They mm -hmm. still can win with the next map. Yes, but, uh, it's still they, game point for them, but they've but, given one game to their opponent just to be generous. Two games to their opponents just to be generous. It is currently 3-2. All momentum yeah, belongs to Risen right now. Yeah, and Warren, we already seen oh, that in the first We can't, we can't, we can't spoil it! I'm sorry! <laughs> it's okay, I wanted to I, too. <laughs> I know! Uh, We've seen them in the first best of seven, and well, that dude has uh, fancy moves on its own. So. Yeah, yes, yes, he is an amazing and both, player. And those two met before, and mm -hmm. that was a game Jetorix might not be too happy about. Oh, yeah, no, no, definitely cannot be happy about that. Jetorix choosing to go for Mass Oracles, and Warren choosing to employ some amazing mass infester skip the banelings go for the hydras we'll see if they choose to do that again but so i'll be honest my favorite game so far has been game number one of the series number one i think that has been the pimpus play of this event so far of this entire team league of every best of seven i have seen I honestly think the game between Warren and Jatorix in series number one has been my favorite so far. We'll see if that continues to be true because they're going to be phasing each other again, man. I am yeah. super hyped. Chef, I would say it's time for payback. Jatorix has now the, ch uh, the chance to uh, mm -hmm. show Warren who is king in the ring. Uh, well, mm -hmm. the map is Catalina. And. In the bottom right, it's a Protoss. Yes. Yep, and the yellow card. And we just talked about him. He has the chance to revenge his loss at the mm -hmm. first map and the first best of seven of today's final. It's Jetorix. Yes, it is. And his opponent, currently up 3 2. He is playing. For Psystorm Gaming. In the pink Zergy McFerguson trunks, it's Warren! So, what technology would you think in a Zerg vs. Protoss? I have to assume that there's a Stargate because I see it already. Yeah. Uh, and on the other side, we have. Well, this time, not without gas, he's going for... Uh, no, he didn't go... He didn't... He wasn't the player who went gasless. That was Griffa. Um, ah. Warren was the player who skipped the Baneling Mist. Um, and skipped, um, uh, Baneling Speed. Went for Hydra, Ling, and Fester. And then ended up adding Banelings in later. Uh, now I remember. Yeah, I, like, I, 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 I just would like to see the first game again, to, uh, to be honest, to, to have it... Uh, yeah, kind of fresh in mind. Yeah. Um, Warren is already taken the <gasps> third. Dude, dude, Pretty this bold. is weird. This is weird. Not only has he done that, but he pulled off two guys from his own gas to in order to do it. He is delaying his lair, going for some extra queens, um, this is, this is Mess funky. Maybe Anidus? Maybe this, Anidus? Uh, no, no, even or, that's or. gonna be super delayed. Like, he, he won't have layer to go for a fast Anidus. He has gotta be going some kind of heavy Sauron style Zerg with heavy minerals. Oh, yeah, I have a Link style with, with Drop Overlord? Possibly? Maybe, maybe uh. or... The, I don't know, this is... The Oracle is already here. He could go for roaches and go for like ravagers and go for like de just delay his tier two entirely. But even that's funky, man. The problem I see here is, I mean, Jetorix is taking this 
third were really really early as well because of the uh, choke points this map has you can uh -huh. wall off pretty easy uh -huh. uh, this still gives an opportunity to the Zerg to punish that with well actually a lot of links because there will be a time that your uh, Mothership Core has no energy left Right. And Phoenix is, and Phoenixes are not good against things I can tell you. Yeah, but it's Catalina. Maybe that's why he went for something so weird. He his opponent could have expanded, could have uh, scouted. I don't know. It, it's funny, man. I'm not really sure what's going on in Warren's head right now. But this is a weird map. I'm really just surprised that he chose it. Cause you gotta imagine, you know. Okay. He chose this map. So, oh, <laughs> we see two additional star stargates coming up from oh. the Torix. Is he really going for that mass oracle game again? We already see an infestation bit on the on the side of Warren. Mm -hmm. uh, if he goes for that again and he loses again, I um, I lose f I will lose faith in Protoss to be honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, I would as well, man, but at that point, does it really matter? Like, you gotta imagine, he's had the time now to have studied Warren and been like, yo, I know what I did wrong in that game. This... You could have, you could have adapted to the place time. Basically. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um... Mass Oracle yet again. We didn't see it last game, but that wasn't a PVZ. So, <laughs> it wasn't a PVZ, so. yeah, we're, we're just gonna have to wait and see, man. Now there are so many scroll crawlers up, and oh, he was actually expecting there not to be a second one there. He thought he could have killed more. He honestly did he not want to use that energy, but he had to. He, he killed one drone. Wow, and almost. Warren actually using uh, the uh, creep of Overlords to deny the fourth here, mm -hmm. but uh, the Torix already taking that on the f on the uh, hard left position. That that one yeah. is already scouted by this one link, and this is mm -hmm. crucial. He has to really t take care of that because uh, as soon as Warren is really floating over there, and mm -hmm. the biggest problem I see with that expansion is. If you check out the, the the distance between his main and his fourth, right, there, there might be a problem that Lynx just invade his main and his army maybe in the middle of the map and he just has to run back. And if there's action on both ends of of this uh, really big proto space, then he will be uh, in trouble to uh, be anywhere in time. Yeah, and maybe. just look at the amount of creep spread. Factoring that into the distance between the main slash natural and that fourth base, man, I think you're absolutely right. He is trying to kill off the uh, fifth base of the circle, and he mm -hmm. managed. Uh, oh, nice fungal though. These, these two oracles. Oh no, he yeah, don't have vision. He doesn't have vision. Oh, the, the dude. fungal gave vision. The fungal gave vision, but. There's an overlord. <laughs> mm -hmm. Couldn't kill off the, that two oracles. Would have been nice, but uh, so far, let's check numbers. We have 83 workers for the Protoss already, which mm -hmm. might be a little too much, in my opinion. As soon as he hits 200, he has to trade. I don't know, man. You've got <laughs> five base Zerg against four base Protoss, but the Protoss is up 10 workers. I I think he's within that thin margin. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think, yeah. I think it's I too close, too, too, too early to tell, man. I don't know. I, I, I would say the Protoss is, is fine with 70 workers, and the rest is bad, no, no. should be dedicated to army. I think so too, but like as he approaches that 200, 200, maybe throw away 10, but he's not there yet. Yeah, maybe he's just uh, getting it for fast upgrades and maybe having a, a, a little bang. I mean, look at this. This looks like he's uh, he wants to uh, get a mothership core, mm -hmm. uh, to, to just get a mothership and have like 17 cloaked oracles everywhere. 
Yeah. Um, but if you check Morin, he's already getting uh, the Reparasite upgrade. Uh, mm -hmm. If the Golden Armada is on its way, he definitely can uh, make some use of that. Um, together with the Hydras he already has. Yeah. Um, but, but both players are kind of, I don't know, chilling at the moment. Okay, expect for Gentorix. He puts down Stace Swords everywhere. You will never reach that base, even if you try. Well, he has t more than 10 Stasis Wards in this one singular location. He is choosing to attack Overlord That's a everywhere he can with that single Phoenix. There is so much creep spread right now here for Warren, though, that basically he's going to be running his army through one path or another through these Stasis Wards. It's just, there's just too much creep here. Unless he chooses to randomly throw down the fungal growth or, you know, randomly make an Overseer Man, I just don't see him scouting him. We, we have uh, two more Stargates on the way. We have carriers on the way, and uh, we see Void Rays in production. So the Golden Armada is cold, but when will it be there? The Chargelets here are dealing quite nicely with the Hydras. Uh, Oh, but uh, it seems that uh, Warren is already aware of all Stasis Wards. Yeah, a lot of these Stasis Wards have been uh, intercepted through the. Well, they've been intercepted through the Overseer. They've uh, some of them have been triggered. Not all of them have been triggered. Um, but he can. Oh, individually he could land a nice fungal grove and hits almost everything. He needs to be careful though. He mm -hmm. gets he. Can he get the chain fungal? <gasps> the oracles get one as well. Many high templars are just dying there. The next fungal hits as well, mm -hmm. and the hydras coming from the side. Just half of the protoss army is there. He might clean up the majority of the oracles. Another fungal is hitting quite good. Mm -hmm. And look at the army of of, of Jetorix. It's it's shrinking, even though it's still enough to well, be a problem. He's got enough of an economy here to yes. basically trade with this Zerg as much as Warren wants to. And Jatorix has actually got the ground army that he would have wanted in that previous game that Warren <laughs> beat him in. He's got the ground army to support the Oracles this time. So this is looking mighty different. And of course, as you would expect with a mass Oracle, we are going to have carriers to be the follow-up, and he is getting Protoss air weapons in addition to that. Yeah, and the Mothership Core is rebuilt as well. I expect the Mothership to hit the hit this map uh, within the next four minutes, mm -hmm. and everything else would be a big surprise for me, to be honest. But we see 11 Mutalists are built as well from Warren, and he gets air weapon attack mm -hmm. and carapace, so maybe he will try to use that as a, as a harassment tool and just imagine elf 11 11 mutalis mm -hmm. in the in the eco, in the eco line well it's let's dead. let's talk a little bit about zerg for a second zerg yeah. is all about tech switching you can rapidly tech switch like where other um races have to build like a bunch of star force or a bunch of stargates or a bunch of robo and in order to tech time. switch yeah no. no not with zerg and if Warren is going to have a chance in this game, like his Hydroling Bane or his Hydroling Infester into Bane was awesome, was amazing. But it was still precluded on the fact that Torx made mistakes. Torx didn't make those same mistakes here. So what we've got to see now is how does Warren respond to Torx's response? And uh -huh. we see that the Mulisks are all over the place right now. They are hitting here in this main base, but there's only a few probes here. He's not managing to go for that fleet beacon. He wanted to. Look at it. He bruised it. But that was just yeah. energy. It was just the first hit, and then he noticed that there are a lot of workers still mm -hmm. in the base. He mm -hmm. cannot fight the interceptors, though, as you can see here. Well, he's just parked right on top of the probes, and... You know, he held position there, and he was... Uh, we have a big fight going on on the... Mm -hmm. What's that? 9, nine o'clock position? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. not, Mid not too many... Much does happen there. I guess the uh, I Templars got off a few nice... Uh, uh, storms, but nothing too crazy. 
nice parasite bomb here though on the oracles and you can see really correctly they are almost died there mm -hmm. but now the carriers are really getting a uh, getting to be a big big problem yeah these players starting kind of stalemate each other a little bit uh too afraid to attack into um each other's army but i i like i like the vipers though yeah uh, vipers are amazing you can pull um in fact uh, like you can pull the mothership or, or which you know you are eventually going to get to or the carriers into the hydralis and then start using fungal growth then start using neural parasite so it could it could definitely go go warren's way but it's going to require absolute perfect and he's muscle. using neural parasite already yes, three of indeed. these carriers are not fighting for his for the protoss master and uh, the corruptors might now snipe one or another. Meanwhile, the Zealots, well, they die quite hard against the mm -hmm. Hydras, but is the damage of the Corruptors enough to sort out all these carriers? It looks like it! Jitorit is dropping in supply heavily, and those carriers, they need a lot of time to rebuild. Mm -hmm. Especially this when enemy. you've allowed, uh, your, like, you've created your own carriers at this point, if you're Warren. Um, like, you don't have to kill off but half of the the interceptors because the carriers are actually like attacking each other and attacking themselves and once they've died those interceptors have to be remade like you said which takes a lot of time it's essentially killing off the interceptors immediately it's a beautiful thing yes it is and, and uh, the fun fact is if you uh, we are carrier won't kill another carrier mm -hmm. but it's but it's dps that's not on your army and he's really just uh taking down this potential nexus uh jetrix just wanted mm -hmm. right here and uh maybe another one is going down it's the fourth where seven six or seven corruptors are just well uh pissing on it i don't know it's but it, nexus is going down this is a big hit in the pocket of Jetorix, he's dropping in. Let in me ask you this. What do you think the name of the Corruptor's ability is? Uh, wasn't it Corruption? Or, or you know, you, like would, you would expect it, you know, and, and I think it was, but not anymore. Corruptors, they use caustic spray. It makes no freaking sense. <laughs> 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 this is. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, th at least it works. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, as, it's a beautiful we... thing. It's a beautiful <laughs> ability. They just need to name it properly. Yes. Uh, as we just saw, the Protoss upgrades uh, finish. He has free mm -hmm. um, uh, ground armor. The the uh, shields are at max. But look at the carriers go! Just get picked out of the air. I guess these Hydras are just too too strong right now against uh, single carriers. I mean, they are on the Let's call it run. We can call it the run. Oh, but now he's in a bad, bad position. Because... The, the, where's the army? He, he seemed to be split up. The fungal on the High Templars is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. but I it think Warren's just getting yes. too fancy. He's got a little bit of everything, but most of his units are spellcasters and like... Is set up to buy him time. Like he's got a lot of fungal worth, but there's no backbone to this army. It's just a kite, and like make sure you fungal growth your opponent on his side of the map while you make reinforcements type army. I don't think this is. There's enough of a backbone here. Uh, I mean, as lo when the high templars are out of the game, mm -hmm. like in within two fungals maybe. Yeah. You can just uh, stream in with links and kill the ground now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that nice parasite bomb right here. The storms are hitting quite nothing, to be honest. Right. Dude. But the carriers are still there. This is this is intense. This I, is super intense, I think intense, even man. Warren doesn't even know uh, where to go right now. He yeah. has a decent number of corruptors, uh, and he is well. The summlings are. Well, they are actually through and running in the main. Oh, Warren! You are my hero if you can do this, dude. Oh my god, will Warren be able to kill off Jatorix? He's already done it once. 
Yeah, big fight going up in the middle. They are just carriers left. And now the... Oh, the Corruptors get huge hits from the storms. And there's almost nothing like the, the Interceptors can almost yeah, finish them off. Nero Parasite now helping out. So these carriers... Mm -hmm. uh, well, why is he not attacking them? This is kind of a misplay right here. But the DPS is just too high. He's killing one carrier after another just archons left right here 120 supply left mm -hmm. for Jetorix and a lot of his stargates are actually ripped off so he cannot even replenish his <laughs> he lets two archons fight for him with Nuru Parasite this looks uh well both die oh my god I think Warren is showing us the next stage in Zerg vs Protoss evolution meta uh yeah, uh, like in the old Gladiator films. Uh huh. And you fight, and the winner has to die as well. Huh? But yeah, yeah, exactly. GG! Oh GG G -G is called! Psystorm Warren taking a victory! 4 1! Two best of sevens! Psystorm Gaming wins it all! They are taking home. The two hundred and twenty-five dollar prize pool for this event. Oh my God, Belair! It is finally over. Five weeks of hell for eight teams. Cystorm Gaming takes it. Well, congratulations to all of the players, and I have to admit, I was surprised tonight quite often. So was that I, was man. I think we both were. Dude. It, it was really enjoyable, mm -hmm. and uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward for uh, the next Hope Team League. Yeah, man, we're gonna be piece. we're gonna be setting that up. We don't have a date or anything set up for it right now. I don't have anything to plug, but I will tell you guys if you want to follow us and find out what events we're doing next, you can check us out on Twitter at Polygon SC2. That is hands down the best place to get information about what we're doing what events are coming up um you can also follow us on twitch.tv slash polygon sc2 and of course if you're here on this youtube channel watching us please go ahead and ring that um bell and that will uh, give you notifications whenever we have events um going on or we're uploading videos to the youtube channel now all of that's our information where can our audience go find you belair uh, Don't you have a Twitch? <laughs> I have Twitch. It's it's just uh, slash belly as Starcraft. Uh, you can usually find me in the mm -hmm. uh, somewhere around there. Um, I'm streaming like mm -hmm. four or five times a week mm -hmm. uh, for the, for the couple of months. Mm -hmm. But uh, the best idea is just to follow me on Twitter, belly as Shoutcast, mm -hmm. and uh, links in the description to all of these. By the way. <laughs> it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Malcolm or mm -hmm. Shaft or I really want to thank you for the opportunity no doubt, to see those games mm -hmm. tonight. Um, I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And uh, but there's just one thing uh, that I think I will have to improve my English to uh, be mm -hmm. a better caster, to be a better sidekick for you. Oh yeah. Um, Man, I will talk to you anytime, help you out. In fact, I could definitely stand to improve my German. I sprick into Deutsch just a little bit. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to um, maybe improve your own German just a little bit, guys, um, I'm actually going to send all of these replays over to Bel Air, and he is going to cast all of these a second time in German on his Twitch. Make sure you check it out. And I'm going to go ahead and send all of this lovely money over to Stefan Penguin Mott, the uh, manager of Psystorm Gaming, and make sure that these players are taken well and good care of. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the last five weeks. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Thank you so much for joining us, Bel Air. Thank you for helping us wrap this up. It's been one hell of a ride, man. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Make StarCraft 2 great again. Yes! Hashtag SC2 lives!
If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.